welcome back. Well, I am here with our Calico Critters, Sylvanian families, Otter, and Koala family, and we're going to give you a little tour of their homes. This is the Secret Island Playhouse. It's a super fun, very whimsical kind of fairy tale set that is right on a lake, and so it's perfect for otters. So here's a look at the back. Now this bottom part is detachable. Whoops, let me pick up that little fish. He like doesn't stand up. He falls over all the time. And it's a weird addition to the set, but it's pretty. Um, so you can put that like, you know, next to it or on top. Um, if you put it on top, there's a little hole they can dive through. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and this set comes with like a um, flippers and a and little scuba gear, glasses, whatever you call it. Um, all right, well, let's take a look. Uh, Here's the side. I love all the windows. It's got kind of like this mix of, you know, Mediterranean and kind of ship, you know, like sea uh, theme. And the colors are really cool. They're like, you know, uh, natural colors. You've got the green and the, you know, stone and the wood. And then you also have uh, bright blue and, you know, like the sparkly water and the bright red roof. So I, I just think it works really well. And a little staircase coming up. And we've got the little cute little baby otters there at the top with some toys. And there's just very little that will fit in this set. So it looks pretty sparse, but um, that's okay. <laughs> and this door I think is so fun with that round porthole shaped window. And then going up the side, you'll see these little, like, kind of like rock wall steps, and they go into like a lookout. So they can look out all over Critterland. Although this set will actually be placed uh, somewhere else, like in the camp area. So that's the uh, top, and we've got the little otter slings on this blue bathroom shelf piece. Let me move that out of the way. And because there is literally no space to put an adult bed, and that little bed is built in, we are kind of going Korean style, and uh, this little mattress is not Calico Critters. I don't know where it came from. But the, basically, the parents will sleep on the floor <laughs> like that, and um, so when the kids are playing with it, they could pull that out for bedtime. And then on the little bed, uh, right next to Mom, the babies can sleep. There's one of them. And there's a little blankie for them, which we just recently got in a used, like, desk set um, that came with it. So that'll work. And we're just kind of folding up all the, the uh, bedroom linens in the corner there. And then when they're awake, they can use this kind of like a little living room. Kind of folds up like a futon there on the, on the bed. And there is the trap door. Very fun. The little otters have a lot of fun uh, sneaking up and down there, but they got to be careful um, not to uh, land onto the fish stew. <laughs> so uh, that's a little dangerous. But that's why they're toys. And speaking of fish stew, here is a delicious fish stew with onions and I think mushrooms. Let's take a look. Those little mushrooms are so cute. But otters love fish in every form. And Father Otter is cooking up those fish. And there's a little log-shaped table. I think it came with this set, if I'm not mistaken. And then back here, we squeeze their little scuba gear and fishing equipment um, back behind the stairs on that little end table. So that's working all right. It is very crowded. <laughs> um, and again, I just think the, like, Especially from looking from the inside out, these windows are just really pretty. And it's got like, you know, that little, you know, cottage style. And then like that, you know, curved kind of like Greek style. And there's also these little shells that kind of walk up to the trap door. So that's neat. And I know it's weird having this little, um, you know, part of it a butt up against the actual house but I think it's cool that the otters can like jump through that hole and swim around and catch their little fish and uh, just splash away so yeah that's basically it that's the entire uh, otter house now let's go take a look at the koalas and they are in the adventure tree house and here's a quick look at the front 
Um, very beautiful set. I mean, it's so nice, especially compared to the new Adventure Tree House that just came out. And I did not put a kitchen in here. Um, these rooms are, are an okay size, but they're so awkward because they're round and like the walls actually like come in, like they're at a slant in addition to being round. So there is really hard to fit anything in here. But we made uh, a chair, a couple chairs and like a shelf fit. Um, and then they're using like this picnic table for the kitchen. <laughs> so they basically grill all their food and uh, looks like she's cooking a stew as well. Plenty of fresh veggies, probably all eucalyptus. And uh, we could put like a stove there, but um, I just figured, you know, why? I just made it look cluttered. And, and this is fine for, you know, display and for playing. And this ladder can be removed and placed other places. Nice big little deck there. It's so fun. And around here in this teeny tiny room, we put the we put two of the uh, triple baby bunk beds, yellow and pink, to match the the babies. And she's uh, got a tiny little stool in there with a toy on it. And uh, if you look closely, um, you'll see up here there's another critter uh, way up in the tree. And uh, I thought at first we would put the babies up there as a bedroom and like use one of these rooms as a kitchen, but that was just weird. So they needed a bedroom. So that works. And there is a little window tucked behind those beds. So one of the critters can look out. So that's nice and cozy. And then they come up the other ladder into the parents' bedroom. And this obviously is a single kid's bed, part of a bunk bed. Um, we put a little nightstand, and you can see the uh, koala slings stuffed in that nightstand. And of course, a book about trees, because koalas love trees. And they've got a fishing pole as well. And uh, so they fit if they're like spooning on an angle. <laughs> I mean, they don't even fit that way, but that's okay. It's just, you know, they're toys. And a big bed just wouldn't fit in there. Looks like he's trying to get the baby to come down from the top. I love the little realistic looking um, like steps that go up to the that little uh, lookout. It's just so fun. I mean, everything about this treehouse is just so cool um, and so high quality and detailed. Like here's a little weighted basket and mother can send some snacks up there if she wants to. You know, and the... Um, the detail all around it and then the realism like the trees actually look really realistic and uh, it's got the wood grain detail and it's not overly like toyish you know but it has like the you know obvious obviously it's a toy but you know what I mean like um, that realism just is really what draws collectors in I think and the high quality like I mean it, there's just so many high quality elements to uh, this you know, sets like these like there's that little bird feeder with the bear shape and you just don't see that well, at least in the new adventure tree house you know it just um, it has a completely different look so I really appreciate the look and style of this one and the koalas are really enjoying it uh, for their little home and over here is where we're going to put the otter house along with the tents and the little campground well thanks for taking a look and we'll see you next time